Remember Pasolini's film Medea? Have you seen Pasolini's film Medea? The first 20 minutes are almost without spoken words. Things happen in a perfectly ritual way. Nobody explains or questions anything. Not even when, in the climax of the scene, a young man is ritually killed, his body cut into pieces, his flesh spread all over the fields and buried there so that the plants can grow, after which the bones of the sacrificed body are burned in a holocaust that awakens the dead and for a limited time overthrows the political order of the community. We see the people spitting in the faces of the royal family and humiliating the priestess and her religion. It is an evocation of archaic peasant religion, put forward as the true pagan religion. It is the real mythical truth opposed to the rational truth of the Greeks of Jason, Medea's antagonist. The real politic of Jason and his aspiration to arrive at the kingdom that had eluded him and his father for generations has no bearing, no condition, nor truth for Medea, whose truth will tragically destroy the real. This pragmatic arrangement means nothing to the religious truth of Medea. Medea's vengeance is the revenge of the mythos, the true pagan religion taking on the unreligious rationality, the logos of the Greeks. The evocation of the true pagan religion remains without words, words so easily manipulated, words that mediate reality and change it. Medea lives in the divine and Jason in the worldly. The dispute between the two continues today.